now this is the final of the season and i can't stress enough i love the season there's like part one see the part one season two but i can't express enough how glad i am to be done with these reviews i honestly can't stress enough doing so much videos in like i did expand across the whole days but still it's so un it's so annoying to always do to do oh my god i'm dying inside uh a great episode win all we can see um zane cole kind of rescue the monks or whatever uh and all that but um with the wolf disguise they kind of get found out and cinder kind of beats them down till kai completely beats him with well cinder kind of beats them down but um sora kind of trapped him for a while and we see the Forbidden Five entrance ceremony thing. Uh, Cinder breaks free, tries to get the mask to do like a kind of throw it around. That was nice. Uh, when Cinder gets it, um, he kind of gets destroyed by Kai. I'm only saying this now. Cinder without without the shadow spin is so weak. Like I don't know if anyone's ever told me this. Without him using shadow spin, he gets destroyed every time. And even when he uses it, he gets destroyed by the dragon rising they're, they're, I'm guessing they're equal to one another so he shouldn't get so destroyed he got completely destroyed that he couldn't do anything so yeah Cinder's kind of pretty weak if you kind of put that into consideration but I do like him no, nonetheless um, yeah the episode kind of gets a bit not dark but uh, 135 kind of get uh, freed but that's also just because the fact that Lord Rise kind of threw Kai into the into the portal, which brought one of the members out. Um, all in all, great episode. The episode kind of ends on them closing the portal because Jordana's because um, Bonzo is fighting it or whatever. And yeah, uh, Jordana looks like he, she's gone crazy because of the spell. And Kai and Bonzo are kind of trapped inside the. Um, portal or seal or whatever you want to call it. Lord Rise kind of brings them out of here because he do not want to lose. Uh, dragon statues, the dragon monsters unfreeze and all that. So that's good. They're back to their usual self. Yeah, uh, not I don't know his name. I completely forgot. It's in the subtitles apparently, but they don't actually mention it. I don't mind Lord Rise showing that he's in control, but he kind of puts this thing on to one of the Fumin 5. I thought when the Fumin 5 come, they would. Lord Rise would rule, be ruled under them because they're this powerful force or whatever. But for the fact that uh, pe that he put this control on him, someone who's meant to be so powerful that he got that he had to be sealed away, got a capture device on him to make him obey Lord Rise. It doesn't make sense in my opinion. Some people probably like that he's been that Lord Rise is still the one in control. I don't mind it. It's just that it doesn't make sense in context. Uh, that was so great. Can't wait, Lord Rise speaks to his master at the end, and the episode ends on kind of Kai and Bonzo uh, don't knowing how to get out. So that's all in that, but yeah, a great episode, not least, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.